one, so let's work on this chemistry problem relating to isoelectronic series. And before I do this problem, I always recommend students to pause the video and do it themselves and come back to see if they got it right or not. That is the true way of knowing if you fully understand this topic. So we have these uh, different ions here, and I think it would be useful to look at a periodic table first, just to compare the different electrons. So we all know that they have the same number of electrons. How do we know this? Because in the problem, it states that this series is isoelectronic. Which means the same number of electrons. So let's just confirm that. Fluorine, we can see, has an atomic mass of 9. And because it's fluorine minus, that means it gained an electron. So it's 10 number of electrons. Same with oxygen. Atomic mass being 8, gained 2 electrons, 10. Uh, magnesium has 12, lost 2 electrons, 10. Sodium has an atomic mass of 11, lost an electron, 10. So they all have 10 electrons, right? So since we have the same number of electrons and the same electronic configuration, you might be wondering, so how do we arrange these in decreasing radius, right? Well, there is one thing that is different about these atoms, and that is the nuclear charge. Because they, they these atoms and these ions, sorry, they have a different number of protons. So the number of protons, for example, in fluorine is 9, in oxygen it's 8, in magnesium it's 12, in sodium it's 11. So they have a different number of protons, even though they have the same number of electrons. And what do you notice? Oxygen has the least number of protons, right? So because um, oxygen has the least number of protons, so since um, oxygen has the least number of protons, that means that it would have the largest radius of them all, right? Because it would be the least attracted to the electrons. The more protons that you have, the more attraction there will be between the protons in the nucleus and the electrons um, in the shell, right? So if there is a greater attraction between the protons and the nucleus and the electrons, it would cause the electrons to move closer to the protons, so there would be a decrease in radius. So now that we understand that, we understand that pro the more protons with the same number of electrons, the more attraction, so the closer their electrons will move towards the nucleus, and this will lead to a decrease in ionic radius. We can arrange them now in a decreasing radius, so it would be... Oxygen having the least number of protons and magnesium having the most. And obviously sodium ion and chlorine ion are in between. And I hope that was helpful.